Here's Metzan with the new stereo contact microphone preamp, size of an old Nokia brick. Has two 3.5 millimeter inputs for your contact mics and same output. Those are stereo sockets, so this is a stereo output. These are stereo inputs, left and right. And here we see the the gain control. It's uh, small controllers, they're flush with the surface. Here you can put your fingernail in and uh, adjust the gain. And indicator LEDs for each channel. Always switch them off after use, otherwise the battery gets drained. I bought a uh, rechargeable batteries. You can recharge it without taking it apart with a micro USB phone charger. Then this thing will shine up red for charging and when it's full it starts. It uh, switches to green, green light. You can also power it with a 2.1 millimeter DC power. Uh, important to not uh, inverse the polarity. It has a polarity protection diode, but still plus is the middle pin, ground is the outside. You can use 9 to 12 volts to power it. And still then the power, power switches, tiny switches here. You can kind of get your thumb in, switch it on, uh, have to be used. If you use it for just one channel, just switch on one, obviously. Otherwise, yeah. Design has a pylon on it, this time a pylon without cables. If you look closer, you see that there are silhouettes of people in it. It's a pylon that has been occupied by protesters who were protesting the electrification. I actually, I don't know exactly where, but it's in South America in some rainforest where electricity companies were dragging power lines through, obviously to power industry and colonize the place. Bottom side has an unfinished high-rise building which is basically just a pattern. Um, yeah, what else? The circuit inside I have previously, when I have been trying to advertise the upcoming thing, said it's a high impedance circuit, which is wrong. I just confused it with the old circuit that I have used before. This one is a, a so-called charge amplifier. It works differently than a High impedance amplifier has several uh, advantages. Basically, it has no hum. You can use long cables without uh, fucking up the signal, adding hum or having weird frequency responses. In general, the pre amplifier for a piezo contact mic has the idea of that is to get like a full frequency range out of this otherwise very high frequency prone uh, piezo thing. If you just plug it into whatever, then you get uh, very weird, uh, for most people very normal for piezo mics frequency response. With this, you get a very wide range of frequencies and no hum and a lot of gain for, for it. And um, the circuit is from industrial applications for uh, ionizing radiation measurement tools and X-ray detectors. It's also used in uh, digital cameras where the, where the um, what is it called? The, well, the sensor chip for the light that comes in, uh, each segment, each pixel has a certain capacitance and these also get amplified by the charge amplifier. I I have been building a couple of different piezo contact mic preamps before throughout my uh, time of experimenting with sounds and this has by far been the the best in to 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 my knowledge and to my uh, to my ears also to the frequency spectrographs I have been checking it with. 
Now I will just make some sounds. Now I have it set up this one here with a stereo, one is here to this like symbol glued with some uh, masking tape. You can use a clamp as well. I like this masking tape. It comes off easily and it sticks surprisingly well on clean, shiny, flat, smooth surfaces. And the tin can is one underneath there as well. Oops. <laughs> uh, and then there's effects there now on bypass. I have been playing around with effects. It, uh, <laughs> it sounds nice. I tried to record something yesterday already for this advertisement, but I ended up making music. So, uh, this runs now also through the, through the line, through the mixer, which in this case adds a little bit of noise <laughs> because it's a shitty mixer that I have, but whatever, we figure it out. I have been doing with objects uh, to get a stereo uh, feel of it, which this is really great for. Plug one contact mic in one end and one in the other end and then go from left to right. As if you are in the matter that the contact mic is attached to. You can use some classic scrubbing. I mean, you get the idea. Nothing, nothing much new as, as such.
Here's the contact mics. I have a couple of those. Uh, they will be available with also, I think I have three alkaline batteries. They're a bit cheaper. The batteries itself here, this rechargeable ones is 10 euros extra. And those will also be available in a set or individually. These are uh, a little bit different sized uh, with a mini stereo jack, but it's just a, uh, uh, the ring is also ground. So it's a mono plug and uh, uh, middle diameter uh, contact mic that is covered with some uh, electrical insulation rubber stuff. Yo, thanks for watching, listening, check out uh, the Metzan webpage, links below in the, fuck you know all of this, click on it, that's it, goodbye.